10,000 meters above the plane, George suddenly broke free from his chains. He became violent again. After only a few rounds of fighting, the security personnel in the cabin all died. Then a gaping hole was blown in the plane. The plane was already on the rocks. Davis grabbed the railing. He told Kate to jump first. He took the agents with him to escape. Finally, George crashed into the field with the plane. But when Davis landed on the ground, he didn't find George. This means that George not only did not die, but also ran away. At the same time, because these behemoths are too strong, the military plans to use the atomic bomb to destroy them. Through satellite detection, George had already rejoined with the giant wolves and was running towards Chicago. This made everyone completely baffled. How could the different creatures work so well together? At this point, Kate explained, it's because the genetic company has added the bat sonar gene to their gene editing. If someone emits those waves, they will converge there. Davis didn't want to destroy George. He thought there might be an antidote hidden in the company. 